Hey folks, this is my first Fender Stratocaster. It's the American Deluxe and I bought this one brand new in the year 2007 when I was studying at the conservatory. I guess it was my second year. And I played the shit out of this guitar. I bought it on tour with me to South Korea where in the airplane this happened. So there's a not so subtle polyurethane lacquer on this guitar which cracked. And if it cracks you eventually end up with this. It's all falling off. But that didn't stop me from loving it. It's still beautiful. But what did stop me from loving it is the sound. Ever since I got this one, the Fender Custom Shop, the red one, I basically never played this again. So I think it has to do with the pickups in this guitar. It is the SCN noiseless pickup. So it's an older generation of Fender's noiseless pickups. And it just, it doesn't cut it for me. This guitar just doesn't sound as a typical Strat shoot sound. It's a bit out of tune, fresh strings on there, but it feels a little bit flat, unresponsive and a little bit boxy. When I bought this, this is basically my first experience with Strat, so I definitely loved it. But but now I just know how a Strat, how a real Strat should sound. I've been through so much with this guitar and I just want to fix it again. And it's great to have the maple neck option instead of the rosewood. So it, it plays brilliantly. It still looks great. Well, apart from the lacquer. So the question is, can we save this Strat? I sure hope so, because what I've got here, it's a set of new pickups by Loller. It's the Dirty Blondes. So, let's do a comparison. I'm gonna record some clips right now. Put this in. <laughs> and I never did that. I never swapped pickups. So, bear with me. <laughs> and then we're gonna play some examples with these pickups and see if we can save this beautiful strat. I sure hope so. So right now I'm loosening the pick guard of this beautiful Strat. It's a lot, but I guess this is the last one. So I hope the S1 switch doesn't make it more difficult for me to check the wiring. I get a lot of questions about guitar maintenance, how I do it. This is basically how I do everything. I just, I just start doing it and figure it out myself. Because to me that's more fun. And how much can go wrong? Okay. 2005. Hmm. This is the S1 switch, the monster. Oh my God, I have no idea. This is the entire thing. Okay, let's see, can I maybe just get the entire S1 switch off the... So there's two things, the Fender pickups have three leads and my new ones just have two leads. I did some research and the green is irrelevant if I change the pickup so I can just ignore it and just swap the white and the blacks for these white and blacks. So that doesn't have to be too much of a problem. I'm gonna do it one by one because I forget everything if I don't do it that way. So let's start with the neck pickup. Lollar Blonde neck so you're probably gonna laugh because if you saw the home studio tour you know I'm gonna need this uh, another extension cord yes it is connected There we are. And we don't need those green ones anymore. Middle pickup. Beautiful. Slowly but steady. So the yellow one goes over there. As you can see, there's two yellow ones coming to the same spot. Cut it away. Two done, just one to go. So the last lead is this red one. So if you follow it, come over there. Yeah. 
Yes, that's it. There's probably gonna be guys in the comments saying that I do everything wrong. Probably, you gotta learn it, you gotta do it. All right, so these pickups, that's new. <laughs> Yes! I have the best idea in the world. Let's first put the plug in the guitar to make sure it actually works. Let's just... Yes. 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 Yes! All the pickup positions work. That makes me pretty happy. So we gotta make sure the pickups are approximately one eighth of an inch distance from the string. So right now it's still so they need to go up quite a bit actually. Yes. So let's clean everything up a little bit and then we can demo these pickups. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> This is <laughs> seriously good. It feels like a new guitar. Let's do the comparison between the old pickups and the new pickups. I never changed pickups before. I basically never customized a guitar before in this way. I usually see a guitar as one piece. It all works together in harmony, creating the perfect instrument, or it doesn't. And when it doesn't, I, I just don't know if it's the pickups fault, the woods, the bridge, whatever. I just, I just don't know. So I'm pretty excited to see how changing just the pickups affects the tone. After editing this video and hearing the guitars back to back, I can say this is exactly what I hoped for. I maybe gotta admit the differences are a little bit less than I thought they would be, but it had changed exactly in the direction I wanted it to. The sound is more open and the guitar is like, it's breathing more if you understand what I mean, if that makes sense at all, I don't know. You definitely notice it more when you play. There's a bit more spark and it's a little less boxy, I think. So 
I wonder if having the S1 switch on there uh, still affects the tone in a negative way. I think it will probably do something, but I'm not too sure how much, so if you want to chip in on that. Also, I think the differences would be a little bit bigger if the set of strings was a bit older. Like new strings tend to have that new and that very bright sound, and maybe that drowns the, the impact of changing the pickups a little bit. Anyway, the Strat is definitely going in the right direction. Um, so let's finish this baby. What should we do next? I think we need to do something about that lacquer, right? It looks a bit shabby. <laughs> so strip it, do a natural finish, or maybe just a nice nitro uh, cherry sunburst. Let me know what you would like to see. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. And see you guys in the next one. Bye.